It ain't what it seems. Keep your eyes on him. Keep your eyes on him. Get in in God's word. Get in God's word. And if you get in, I tell you what, how can you fight a battle and you don't know who your enemy are? You got to know who, you, who the enemy is in order to fight him. And the word of God teaches us who our enemy is. But what's so amazing about everything that Jesus went through with, out of all that did to him, out of all he went through, still he asked the Father to forgive them. See, y'all, that's the spirit, that's the spirit that we got to have. As followers of Christ, when they kick us down, when they spit on us, when they call us everything but the child of God, we got to ask the Lord to forgive them. And we got to keep on going. Because one thing about it, y'all, I found out in my seven years of ministry, I found out that the hurtest that you can ever get is when you're being hurt by church folk. All right, man. That's the hurtest that you can ever get. Because you you feel in your mind, you, you feel in your heart that these are the ones that are supposed to keep you lifted up. These are the ones that are supposed to keep you encouraged. But it ain't what it seems like. The higher you get in God, the more enemies that you're going to create. The closer your walk with Christ, the more enemies that you're going to accumulate. Mm -hmm. But we need to understand that we need to have that same spirit that Jesus has yeah. on the cross. Father, forgive them. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And you got to still love them. Yeah. See, that's the thing of it is, y'all. We don't want to love them. Yeah. When folk do us wrong, we don't want to love them. Yeah. Yeah. When folk talk about us, we don't want to love them. Right. When folk scandalize our name, we don't want to love them. Yeah. But he said, that's how you would know my disciples. That they would have love for one another. Y'all, we got to have love for one another. Mm -hmm. But I want to let you know it ain't what it seems. Right. Everybody don't love you. Right. Everybody ain't for you. You need to leave here today knowing that everybody don't love you. Right. You're going to be kicked down. You're going to be persecuted. But I'm reminded of what the Apostle Paul said. The Apostle Paul said, I done been through it all. He said, I've been knocked down. I've been kicked down. I've been persecuted, but not forsaken. You got to understand that God has placed a treasure on the inside of us that keeps us going. And that treasure is his spirit. Yeah. See, if you don't have the spirit of God in you, then you're subject to do anything. You're subject to say anything. You're subject to treat people any kind of way when you don't have the spirit of God in you. But when you have the spirit of God in you, then you are able to, to love your enemy. That's why he said pray for your enemy. Pray for those that use you. Y'all, this thing is real. It ain't what it seems like. So when it happened to you, don't, 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 don't think something strange done come upon you. He said, I done told you in my word it's going to come. But I'm trying to prepare you. I'm trying to prepare you for this persecution. Y'all think it's bad now, but it's going to get even worse. In the end time, it's going to get worse. Yeah. In other countries, in other countries, you got people, they cannot have a public gathering like we have in now. Uh -huh. yeah. And praise God like we do. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't what it seems like, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. The devil is yeah. the tail's down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's his job. But we need to understand that it ain't what it seems like. Mm -hmm. it, ain't, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't all good for you. Everybody, everyone, everybody that's patting you on your back, they really, they, they ain't down with you. They'll tell you they're down with you. They'll sing a good song to you. Or if you need something to eat, stop by my house. The men's ice for an egg, they out there on the phone telling the neighbor down the street. You know, so and so's like me for an egg. But what? I remember a time long years ago, y'all, when, when that's how folk got along. Yeah. Whatever you needed, my family had it, you got it. Yeah. But now, that ain't what it seemed like. It's a different story, y'all. And we got to understand that God knows the heart. So if it ain't real, what's in your heart? If it's not real, guess what? God knows it. So 
Lord. If you do something for somebody and it ain't real, you'll come out better not doing it at all. Amen. Because guess what? God don't want it. That's right. That's just like your tithing and offering. If you want to hold on to it, you'll come out better holding on to it. Because the Bible says he loves a children. It ain't what it seems like, say God is for you. And the devil is against you. But as long as you follow in Christ, everything is going to be all right. We've been men do for a night. But joy comes in. If trouble don't last always. It ain't what it seems like. If you ain't heard nothing else I said on today, just remember that. When you leave out these doors, when trouble come your way, when them old talking friends come your way, remember that. It ain't what it seems like.